Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time you're here. I'm glad you're here watching. We've got another episode of Unwrapped Legacy Media and Computers, and we've got another computer reset unwrapping for you. We've got IBM Filing Assistant, and this looks like version 1.0. The Filing Assistant is a file designer and data source for the IBM Assistant series. Can help save time by reducing paperwork. Information filed on diskets can be accessed and modified with a few quick keystrokes. Before we rip into this, let's look at the system requirements. One diskette, IBM Displayer TV. PC XT or PC Junior or portable PC with 128K of memory and a double-sided disk drive. So it looks like this was definitely released before the AT. Get this open here. If you've watched other unwrapped episodes, you know I definitely like to try to keep the shrink wrap on the machine, or the, not the machine, the, the binder. So I just kind of cut it just enough so that I can flap it over the back and get the binder out. There we are. We'll set this off to the side. Let's see what we've got. Boy, listen to that stiffness of the binder. We've got the documentation still on the shrink wrap, although curling just a little bit. We've got the quick reference card. And then we have the single IBM Filing assistant floppy disk. The media still looks good, although uh, the right protect tab seems to have moved off a little bit. Let me uh, just reposition that. We'll break out, break out the. Uh, <laughs> knife again and get in here. Then I've got one more related item for the final assistant that we'll unwrap and we'll try it out on the 5150. Still got that new document smell after almost 40 years. Just want to double check, you know, what's it say, you know, what you need to use filing assistant. We go to page 2 1. We'll have that up in our makeshift lab. And we're not going to uh, make a, a backup copy in this episode, but we'll run it and see what happens. Now, the other piece I have, also from Computer Reset, is IBM Assistant Home Solutions. This set of pre-designed forms and reports for use with the IBM Filing Assistant can help you manage your personal finances, maintain a mailing list, keep track of your diskette library, and more. Now, if anybody knows has watched any of my previous unwrapped 
episodes way back in the beginning. I am a big RCA Select Division video disc uh, fan. Who knows? Maybe I'll start cataloging them in Filing Assistant. I mean, an IBM 5150 is period specific for that. So I um, can't keep the shrink wrap on one of these what I call jumbo cassette cartridge cases. Although they do like to stick, now don't they? And of course, what do we need here? We need Filing Assistant. It includes a single floppy. It wants the IBM Display or TV, PC XT or PC Junior, 128K of memory. So looks like this came out before the AT. The media looks good, although the label is label <laughs> adhesive is starting to come off. But notice how the right protect tab, boy, that sucker stuck in place, didn't it? In fact, it seems to be what's holding the rest of the label on. We've got, what do we have in here? Well, it's just the cover. Giant. Well, not giant per se, but big, I think, for a manual to go in here. Let's see what we've got. Well, that's nice that they say you don't have to be familiar with the other books in the, uh, in the series. So, let's uh, go up to the lab and get this fired up. So, we're upstairs in the lab now. I'm going to fire up the 5161 expansion unit. Sounds like a 747. I hope you got your passport. Fire up the system unit and then fire up our color display. Does take a while to start up, doesn't it? So this is actually the first demo that we've been able to do with the computer reset software. And previous times when it comes to some of the software, like the IBM Assistant series, because we're going to be doing Filing Assistant here in just a second. A great tool to have, if you can get it, is Copy to PC. There was a hardware board, but it was also a piece of software that does a phenomenal job with copying uh, copy-protected software, such as Filing Assistant. So if you could get your hands on that, make backups of your disks that's great so we're booting off of our 20 meg hard disk today is april 2nd no third today saturday the third 2021 it is 9 p.m my time so we'll say 2100 hours and we're going to put the Filing Assistant disk in the drive, A drive, we'll see what we've got. All these files. Now, if you run setup or fix disk or anything like that, it's going to ask you to remove the copy protect tab label sticker that IBM put on the disk so it can uh, not deprecate, but you know, denote one install. There's only three installs that the disk will allow you to do. And after you reach that three, 
that's it. You could only run the program from the disk. So that's another recommendation, another reason why I recommend if you've got copy to PC or have a way to copy or copy protected disks, do that. According to the instruction manual, it says G to run the program. I wonder why they never turned Echo off. Although, according to filing uh, the, uh, the original documentation, you can actually use this with DOS 1.1, so that's probably one reason that wasn't included in there. Let's design a form, shall we? Create a new file. We'll change to drive C and disks. If you remember earlier in the video, I said I'm a big fan of that well sorry to say we're gonna have to cut this uh, short I do not have copy to PC right now I'm gonna see if I can find a legitimate copy first then we'll make a copy of uh, the disk and come back to it I'll we'll try one more time create a new file Actually, I might be doing this silly. Uh, that's what the problem is, right? It's thinking I want to do it right on the disk when I don't. I want it on the C drive. Create a new file. There we go. Much better. So I guess you can scratch that thing I said about copy to PC. All right, F1 help, which was always very good. Perfect. Okay. Video disk library database. Now we're going to say, um, not this title, but we'll say, uh, we'll just say title. Number of disks, because some disks or some titles had two or four disks. Uh, UPC code of the disk, the first disk usually. Um, the CMR, which stands for CED Magic Rarity Rating, which is actually CMR2 Rarity Rating. Um, acquisition date, inspection date. All right, and F10 will go to our database. All right, we designed our form to add forms. Perfect. Let's See what happens. Add a form. Um, hmm. Wow, I love it. Love it already. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Let's see. I've got one disc down and down on uh, the other part of the place. Beautiful. So I apologize for the shortness of the video, but certainly do more in the future. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, share with your friends. It will get better over time. We've got a lot more video or a lot more 
software to cover. We have three big pieces of software we're going to be talking about uh, in a future uh, video, future videos, looking at IBM's personal decision series, which what they essentially did was take mainframe uh, logic and power and and bring it to bring it to the PC. I mean, look at the size of the binder and the documentation. I mean, it's almost bigger than the monitor. So I hope you look forward to that. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.